Hello and welcome to this uh, today's edition of Top Rated Recruiter, Recruiter Spotlight. My name is Adam Conrad. I'm the founder and CXO of Great Recruiters, and I am joined here today with Paul Ulrich from Lead Health. And uh, Paul, before we get started, I'm going to do a little bragging about you. Uh, Paul has over 100 reviews, uh, 4.96 rating, 98% highly recommended rate. And uh, if you read this guy's reviews, you know why. Uh, heading into my second year of travel nursing, I'm still at the same recruiter from day one because he's truly the best. And Paul is down to earth, easy to talk to, and he really cares about his nurses. I mean, obviously, those are things that uh, people do care about. So, Paul, welcome and uh, congratulations on uh, being named uh, GR Certified Recruiter. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Adam. Thank you for having me. This is this is awesome to be here. Yeah, my pleasure. So tell, tell us a little bit about yourself and about Lead Health. Yeah, so I I currently live out in Littleton, Colorado. I grew up in a small town, South Dakota, about an hour northwest of uh, Sioux Falls. Um, I've I've been in healthcare for for quite a while, like eighteen, nineteen years. Um, first started off as a, as a CNA at a group home for people with developmental disabilities and. Um, a couple of years after that, I became the manager of that group home. Um, I've uh, taught BLS to, to nurses at South Dakota State University, kind of on the side. I did that for about four years and moved out to Denver about nine, I don't know, 11 years ago now, and um, got a job at University of Colorado Hospital, the Anschutz campus, and I did... Um, uh, my job there was kind of non-clinical case management and a little bit of social work, basically help expediting discharges out of the hospital in a non-clinical uh, function. Um, did that for a couple of years and started recruiting back in 2015. And here I am, married, Sounds two sweet. kids, uh, living the, the Colorado life, dad life. And that's me in a nutshell. Good stuff. So, how talk to me? Uh, how did you get into the staffing industry? What was the what was kind of your your origin story? So, i i used I used to date uh, a travel a travel nurse, and that's kind of how I I I got into it. Um, you know, I'm sure you ask a lot of recruiters like how you get into it, and they all say like I just kind of fell into it. And same thing. I didn't I didn't I didn't grow up at like thinking I'd be a a recruiter. My my background is in parks and rec, and I wanted to be a a, a therapeutic and uh, uh, therapeutic recreation. But there's there's no jobs, <laughs> so uh, I, I kind of just fell into it, you know. I um, and then uh, you know I, now here I am. That's how I was introduced into it. So what's kind of kept you in the industry? Because there's a lot of people that enter into the industry and they figure out maybe it's not right for them. You see a lot of high churn. Uh, yeah. with recruiters, one to two years experience. What, what's kept you in it uh, to date? It's, I, I, I still, like, I, I never imagined myself being, you know, having a desk job. You know, that was something growing up I always, I always um, wanted to avoid, uh, but here I am. But uh, it, it, it's the people that I work with. And I, I, I love helping people and I still get to do that in, in just a different way. Whether if it's, if I'm, helping the hospital you know with their needs or helping the travel uh, the traveler get what they want or get into this industry or whether if they're switching over to me and ha helping them get a different experience um but it that that's what keeps me going um i always say like i get my wings whenever i i have a clinician on assignment and they're just like oh this is so great i'm so happy i'm doing this i should have done this years ago and when I hear that, I'm like, okay, I, I did good by myself and by my clinicians. So, um, but all, all my colleagues, like, you know, it, it's like you said, it's, it's, it's a tough job. It's not for everyone. And uh, the people that I work with, I, I've become really good friends. Like I, I've met one of my best friends who actually officiated my wedding. <laughs> he was my boss wow. for the longest time. Um, but just, just the people in general. Um, is what that's what kept me in it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. I mean, reading your reviews and the way you work with people, and I think having a background um, 
it just provides a sense of, of peace and understanding. And I think your motivation is help people first, everything else follows. And I think for a lot of folks that get into this just to make the money, right, you need to find a bigger purpose beyond pay. And it certainly sounds like you've you've found that. Um, talk a little bit about the the types of roles that you fill and, and what your background and expertise in. Who are the people that you can help? Sure. Um, so any acute care nursing RNs, um, you know, we 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 staff uh in in most states some states more more than others but um you know there isn't really a nurse specialty that i can't that i can't recruit for i mean i mean obviously based on the job market you know some specialties there's not as many jobs and sometimes there are um i i also work with a lot of scrub techs uh, i love working with scrub techs um and then we just started getting into uh rad techs as well i'm still learning that process but um it's a lot to learn, but we can we can we can staff those as well, and hopefully down the road um, I'm going to be doing more allied, uh, more more okay. physical therapy, uh, speech language therapy, occupational therapy. So that's coming later this year. Awesome, awesome. And, and yeah. how has great recruiters benefited you as a recruiter? It's it's positive reinforcement, and it's you, you know as a recruiter, and and you know this. It, you know, it, it, you have to celebrate the small wins, whether if it's just having a good conversation or if it's getting someone submitted to a job or or um, getting a great uh, review. And, you know, whenever I see a, a great recruiter review come in, I'm just like, oh, just it just makes my day. It, it validates what I have been doing. And even though it, it may be really tough, um or you know you may get kicked in the face and and spat in and but at the end of the day when i see a re review come in it's just like it, it was all worth it like i helped someone even though it was tough like we got it done and everyone's happy so it, it's it just keeps you going and how do those reviews help you kind of expand your business expand your footprint expand your network what, what are the things that you do that that you allow those reviews to kind of work on your behalf? Well, referrals, you know, I've, I've been doing this for quite a while now. And so I'm at the point where I'm not having to go and, and, and cold call uh, a bunch of, a bunch of clinicians, which is really nice. So I, I, I work off a lot of referrals. And so I, we just started using great recruiters. I think I've been on the platform since I've been at lead health for, for two years. And I, I wish I would have had this before because I have all these other referrals from just, just, sites from the agencies that I work with that, right, that, they're, right. that they're gone now. So I can't get those. So this is a centralized database of referrals. Um, I wish I would have had the past 10 years. <laughs> I would have had a lot more. Um, so it, 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 carry, it will carry with me uh, wherever I go. And I say like, hey, you know, if you want to check more about me and what people are saying, here's a link. Go see what, go see what people are saying. It's really nice to have. And what do you think that impact is on the candidates that you're sending over there? Like what, what kind of response do you get back from them? What does it mean to them? I, it's, a, it's a way for them to show appreciation um, for their recruiters, um, which, I think, um, which I think is really important for the clinicians to voice whether they are really grateful or if there's room for improvement. And that helps me grow as a recruiter um, as well. And, you know, if they, if they want to, you know, throw a referral in there that that someone that it could benefit from from these services, even better. Awesome. And, and what should candidates expect when they're working with you? What, what are they going to get working with you, Paul? Uh, no BS, um, no fluff. Um, I'm, I'm straight to the point. Uh, there's no really time for any sort of fluff or sunshine and rainbows. You know, I go over I go over everything um you know over like how how the process works starting with how pay packages are broken down how much how much um you know the company takes versus how much the nurse gets or the the traveler gets um mm -hmm. the process how stipends work how how the job search goes the good the bad the ugly the, the whole shebang you know i don't leave anything out and you know and and there's just so much information and so much so many misconceptions about how this all works that i try to to try to kick in the butt um 
you know, and, and it's a learning experience as well. So you're not going to learn everything in the first, you know, in the first couple of conversations, you know, it's a, you know, I'm still learning myself. So it's a relationship. It's building the relationship. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. And, yes. And it's changed a lot in the healthcare arena. Uh, a couple of years ago compared to now is, is very different. What, what advice would you give or, or what information would you, do you think is important to share with the, the travelers out there and the nurses? Because they're experiencing a totally different uh, kind of uh, uh, situation than what they did maybe a couple years ago. But what, what, what advice do you think is important to kind of let them know of, about how things are different today compared to a couple of years ago? Yeah. Um, do your research, um, you know, figure out what, what you want. Uh, out of traveling, it's not the rates aren't there anymore. I mean, yeah, they're yeah they're better than what they were pre-COVID, but you know, there's other things that are you know, cost of living has gone right. up. You know, to to kind of you know wash that away. But um, do do your research. Know know what you want. Um, have all your ducks in a row before before you go out into this new adventure. Find find a couple of good recruiters. You know, you don't just work with one recruiter. You you want to work with a couple of them because I don't have all the jobs. No agency does, um, you know, have, have great communication between all three of those or four recruiters. I wouldn't do more than three or four. Um, yeah. you're just going to be duplicating your efforts after that and, 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 and open up, be honest with your recruiter, you know, cause if you're not, then they're not going to be able to help, help you out the best way possible. There's no reason to hide anything. They're not trying to do anything tricky. Um, and, and ask, ask, ask for referrals, you, you know, don't just call into an, any agency expecting to get a great recruiter, you know, ask your, your colleagues, have you worked with anyone? Um, have you traveled before? Great. Did you like your recruiter? Sweet. Can I, can I call them? Can I get their information? That's awesome. Well, Paul, you're doing all the right things. I mean, obviously, I, I, I'm a strong believer of that. This business, and you said it, uh, as a recruiter, your life should get easier the longer you do it because you're tapping into those relationships. Yes. You're tapping into the network. And when you have those relationships, you have better insights. You have better stories to share. You have more value that you can provide those travelers out there. So, um if you are looking for a recruiter, uh, there are recruiters and there are great recruiters. And I would say I agree with you, Paul. Find two, three recruiters that you can trust that are there that are going to provide that type of experience for you. Uh, and you should never have to look for a job again. You help these awesome recruiters out there that are 100% uh, connected to what's going on. And, and as Paul said, that not everyone's going to have every job, but make sure that you have the right people in your corner uh, and you'll have a very successful travel career. Uh, with that, Paul, I really appreciate you coming on and sharing. And again, congratulations to all your success. Keep getting those awesome reviews. It's a testament to the experience that you create uh, and the value that you're providing out there in the healthcare industry. So kudos to you, man. Uh, I yeah. wish you all the best here in 2024. Thanks, Adam. And thanks to all you guys over at Great Recruiters. You guys are doing great work. It's really helping Appreciate the industry it. out. Appreciate it. Awesome. I right, thank you so much. Yeah. Have a great day, everyone.